What's up, Legendary Game Channel here. I've been uh, having a problem with my Rage Hook. I've been getting an error. There is error. Could not hook game process. In insufficient permissions or bad antivirus. Please try again. If the problem persists, please restart your computer. I've looked online for the solution to this problem and I haven't had any luck. Um, hopefully this problem that I'm having is going to be the solution to your problem as well. What happened was, most likely, the common file, or maybe just your Grand Theft Auto 5 file, is being transferred incorrectly. I transfer my common file onto my desktop for quick access for when I want to install mods and do stuff to my games. So, like I said, most likely it's probably being transferred from the directory directory to the desktop incorrectly. Um, what's causing this problem most likely is you're going down. Where is it? You go and copy. And then you're pasting it. If you take your directory and you copy and paste it, or you take your common file you copy and then paste it onto your desktop then most likely what you're gonna get when you start your LSPDFR is most likely this warning might come up for you depending on your settings and then Grand Theft Auto will start, Rage plugin hook will start <clears throat> and then your game will do something funky like this And then your game loads in, and then you look down at your mini-map, and you don't see anything down there. You don't see the police badges, you don't see the little symbols for the jail drop-off location for a suspect, and you're all confused. Then you say the hell with it, and you go to exit your game. And then you see the Rage plugin hook error. Could not hook game process. Insufficient permissions or bad antivirus. And like I said just a few minutes ago, it's most likely because your Grand Theft Auto file or your common file was transferred incorrectly onto your desktop for a fast, uh, what do you call it? For fast access. So, if that's what you did is you transferred your common file onto the desktop or your GTA 5 file onto the desktop, make sure your Grand Theft Auto 5 file is still in the common folder if that's what you transferred. If you transferred your common folder onto the desktop and you want to go into where your hard drive is, 
go to program files x86 down to steam steam apps and make sure your common file is still in the steam apps folder if it isn't transfer it from your desktop back on if it is still there then Go on to your desktop where you incorrectly transferred your common file, right click it, and just delete it. Get rid of it. Don't want it. Might take a minute to uh, delete the file. Now that the file is deleted, go back in, go to your hard drive, program files x86, Steam. Steam apps. Go to your common folder. I transferred a common folder because I do have more than one game in there. And I usually, depending what games, I do mod more than one game. So I want my common folder on my desktop so I can get quick access to all my games. So go to your common folder, right click it, copy. No, I don't want to copy the text. Just highlight the folder itself like it is there. Right click on it. Copy. Make sure you're copying the folder, not the folder text. Go out on your desktop. Right click. Go down to paste shortcut. Not paste, but paste shortcut. It'll do it instantly. You can close this out. You have the common shortcut now on your desktop click on that here's all your games in your common folder this top one here that says Grand Theft Auto V that's the file I have all my mods in here's where LSPDFR is Rage plugin hook click on that to start the game You go through the whole process of Rage Plugin Hook starting up, Grand Theft Auto starting up. So it'll take a minute. And you'll see the Rage plugin hook little thingy there telling you everything that it's doing. So you know that it's been transferred onto your desktop properly. Hey, holla at me y'all. Peace. Now down in the bottom left hand corner it says Rage plugin hook public alpha. LSPDFR first response 0 0.3.1. Successfully loaded. Now you see on your mini map you see the little uh police badges and you see little uh, jail bars kind of thing to tell you where there's a jail drop off for the suspects you go into your pause menu go into the map and you see the little badges everywhere and now you know that your rage plugin hook loaded properly now you can play your game you go on duty as a police officer and play LSPDFR now, just to show that it does work, I will load in as a police officer. Piss off, Simeon. 
And I am now a police officer. So that is most likely the problem. The common file or your GTA file was transferred onto your desktop for quick access incorrectly. Uh, when you're doing it, don't copy and then paste it onto your desktop. Copy it and then paste shortcut. That way it makes a shortcut of the file onto your desktop and you shouldn't have any problems. If this helped you guys out and it fixed your problem, leave a like below, maybe leave a comment, and share the video so other people who are having the same problem can maybe get a fix to their problem. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe for more videos, and until next time, you guys be good.